everybody, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So today I've decided to do an altered envelope wallet. Now, the idea was inspired by somebody on Instagram and I'm really, really sorry, but I thought I had made myself a note of who that person was and I cannot find it anywhere. So I will endeavour to see if I can find that person's name and I will add them to the video when I edit and also in the description below if they have a YouTube channel but for now I have just spent quite some time looking for it and I, I honestly don't know where I've put it so a huge shout out to that person and thank you so much for the inspiration and I have here a little example and so it's it's simply the way it's folded it has a little pocket at the front and then opening up it has a pocket here and I have written myself some notes for scoring so I can't remember what size envelopes these are just a moment I'll have a look and I'll let you know sorry about that all the information helps doesn't it so these are DL envelopes and they are these are actually a peel and seal but either or it doesn't matter if they're not self-sealing um and i just picked them up at bargain buys so that's what i'm using and let's get started so i'm going to use my scoreboard and like i said i've written myself some instructions because I thought it might make my video go a little smoother. So I'm going to score at three and three eighths. And again at seven and a half. And I probably should have scored this way. So my fold line, so my valley becomes a mountain and my mountain becomes a valley. So, because I am essentially going to fold it this way. Okay, so just folding that down and then bringing this one over to meet. And then, I have to remember what I did. I um, had a little play with the idea last night before I, last night? Might have been the day before even, before I forgot what I had seen and what I wanted to do with it. So I don't know that this is exactly the same as the one that I saw on Instagram because it was just a photo that I saw and I really like the style. So I literally just saw... That was what I saw. So I've taken that idea and I've run with it. So I've just got my craft knife and I'm going to open up my envelope and I'm just taking off the slightest strip down the edge to open up the envelope. And then, oops, and then I have to remember what I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut. Straight down these joins or these folds okay and then I'm going to take my little strip off there and I think I will add a little extra glue
which I didn't do with my example. But if you can see here on this envelope, if your envelopes are different, you may not need to. But I only, oops, sorry. I only have the slightest amount of glue to adhere. So I just want to extend that so... I get a better seal just to make it more stable and then the same on the opposite end and you do want to make sure okay and I'll see if I can show you so see how I've cut on the right hand side here of the crease line. You just want to try and make sure you're either on the crease line or just slightly to the left to make sure that it's not a problem and it doesn't make it lift. I noticed with my example, oops, see how I have this little bit of lifting here, I'm trying to get in under the camera. Um, I'm just trying to avoid that really. So I am going to just take off a little bit more. Just to avoid that crease line. Okay, whoops. have seen that but my glue stick just rolled like this <laughs> I'm not even sure you can see that like this <laughs> oh not too funny I just never know what's going to happen when I turn the camera on <laughs> to be fair it would happen whether the camera was on or not okay it's like smile you're on candid camera Okay, and so that creates our little wallet. And then with these pieces here, with this little flap, I have just tidied that up again to make sure I'm inside the crease line. And I've just tapered the edge slightly. And so there is a slight straight line at the end. I'm just trying to get a similar angle you could use the other side as a guide that would be way too easy for me to think of doing that while I was or before I was actually cutting so <laughs> yep that was an afterthought but you know I don't tend to do things the easy way I'm pretty happy with that and then all we have to do is decorate. So essentially you have a pocket on the inside. You could, and I may yet, cut a little circle in there to give it a little bit more wiggle room. And the same with the top here to indicate that that's actually a pocket in there. I may do that yet. As long as my little tab here covers it over. So it did remind me of a wallet when I first saw it um, and you could actually turn it around and do it in the vertical position so essentially this would be a side pocket and then your top pocket would be at the front so I may do a couple for this journal and just alter the way I pop them in the book and the way I cover them so that I can change the direction Okay, so we have our envelope and I am going to ink it, sorry guys, before I start to cover it. Oh, that ink is so much better now that I have refreshed it.
Okay, so all inked and ready to decorate. So, okay, so I've printed a couple of more sheets from the antique paper reset that I've been using mostly in this journal, which is the Woodland paper set. And I'm just going to choose a couple. They're, they're papers that we've already used. So I'm thinking those two. And I'm going to use those to decorate my envelope. And I'm just noticing that these are directional. So, and they're not portrait. I actually don't mind the idea of that text running sideways though. That's kind of fun. So I might do it that way. Just getting my tear ruler. So I do have to share with you, I was watching Gail Augustinelli's video last night, her most, or one of her more recent videos. Um, and it was... It was an organisational video and she was organising her fabric so that she had um, like a sampler that she could use of the fabrics that she has for layering with um, whilst doing embellishments and things. And I do have to say, I think it's a fabulous idea and I will certainly be making use of that idea, Gail. Thank you so much for sharing. Um... Anyway, this tearing isn't working so well, is it? Um, and I, I was watching Gail's video and I was like, Gail was talking about organising and cleaning and sorting and I have to say, Gail, you kind of guilted me a little bit into getting up and coming into my craft space and doing a little bit of organization for myself so <laughs> as much as I felt like I was guilted into it I'm actually really really grateful because I have a desk to my right which is where my sewing machine and overlocker sit and honest to goodness you could not see the desk it was covered in piles and piles of projects just all different projects that were sitting on the desk some waiting to do some that I'm in the middle of some and no rhyme or reason and I literally haven't been able to get to my sewing machine because they've been in the way I've had to kind of scooch everything across to use the machine and I've had this tiny little window and sometimes I've been leaning forward to use the sewing machine. Um, so I can just, it may be a three second job and I'm like, oh, I can't get everything out of the way. I'm just going to use it as best I can. So <laughs> I've actually cleaned up my death scale and it's all thanks to you. So a huge shout out for... <laughs> For inspiring slash guilting me into getting up and getting organized because I really needed the encouragement I think and I'm really excited to have that area of my craft space all organized I do have another desk to the left which is in mm, probably just as bad a state and I'm afraid that my, oh, I'm wondering which way I'd like to do this actually. I'm wondering if I want to go down here because then I'm not actually getting a whole name. Hmm, I might go that way. Um, yes, my. My time in my craft space last night didn't quite extend as far as getting both desks done. But, oh my gosh, to walk in here this morning and actually have one of them clean and tidy and happy 
It was, it was almost smiling at me when I walked in. And I was just like, oh, that is such a good feeling. And then I was like, well, why didn't I do it sooner? But, um, yes, see, sometimes you get something out of a video that you're just not expecting to get out of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I, I need somebody to inspire me for my next round, though. If somebody could take care of that, that would be great. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. It is such a great feeling to have that space tidy, though. And I, I will admit, when I say it's tidy, I look at the desk and the desk is tidy. Um, But I have shelves above it and they're kind of tidy, the shelves, but tidy is in the eye of the beholder. Can I change that phrase to suit myself? Um, There's a few... A few spots on my shelf that could use a little extra attention let's just say that but because the desk is is tidy it's just like oh look at that it's clean and i am loving it i don't know how long it will take me to clean up so essentially my desk here is clean and that desk over there is clean so I'm kind of feeling a win-win right now. Not a win-win-win, but you know, three, uh, two out of three isn't bad. Oh, now I have a song in my head. Yes, yes, I do. I thought I slipped when I tore that. That's rather unfortunate, really, isn't it? Now I think I might tidy that up with the scissors, actually. And okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is using my double sided tape because I want to make sure this adheres really well to the edges. And has less chance of oh I could have just used a glue stick that was really silly okay so let's just tape just the bottom <laughs> now that I've started the bottom I'm just thinking a glue stick is overall coverage so goodness me I don't even know what I was thinking then I'm kind of loving the fact that this paper is going to bring the blues in. I, I have a little bit of blue in my ephemera so far, but not a huge amount. So that should be really fun. Okay, so which way am I best to go that way? So lots of glue. And I'm so far behind on watching videos. I feel like I just don't have enough time in my day. I want to make videos and watch videos. I just don't have time to do it all. I'm missing out on some amazing crafters, I feel. Um, which kind of makes me a little bit sad, but I'm doing the best I can. So much inspiration out there, guys. And I still have the 10 Crafty Questions videos popping up on my newsfeed, so I really love that. Um, it's, it's just really fun. Okay. So essentially this is going to be my altered envelope number two. If you remember, I did the faux front envelope and I had mentioned, I think, in that video, and if I didn't, I'll mention it now, that 
as you know, I'm doing or may not know if you're new to the channel, you may not know that I'm working on my Wonderland journal. It's a, a big journal. It's a work in progress and it's going to take some time. And I have six signatures. So I essentially would like to make six of most things. Whether or not I do or not is debatable because I may decide instead of doing six envelopes, for instance, that I might do three envelopes and three of something else or two of each thing or just changing it up. But in my mind, that was what I set myself. And I've just realised I'm going to have glue where I don't really need glue. So that's going to make it fun to move away. And I thought I had moved that and I did. Oh, yes, I did. Um, oh, gosh. See, I'm focusing on the fact that I've got wet glue where I don't want wet glue to tear the paper. So I'm going to have to let it dry, I think. Not great management for videoing. Okay. Just getting a piece of paper towel. might help me wipe off some of that excess glue actually <laughs> it goes for days okay Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. As you can see, I'm not exactly on edge there, but on the edge. <laughs> it didn't quite sound right. Um, but I will just cut that away with the scissors, I think. And I do have these scissors. I have cleaned them slightly, so they're not quite as tacky as they were, thank goodness. But they are my scissors that I use when I don't want things to be really tacky. Hmm. I would feel better about tearing this than cutting it because, well, as you know, I like the torn edge, but <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to cut into the envelope. Okay, that was rather unfortunate that I glued that when I didn't need to, but anyway. So if you want to do what you should do and not what I do, I would glue the envelope and not the <laughs> well I wouldn't put the double-sided tape down and I would glue the envelope rather than the paper and that way you'll avoid having these tacky areas that I've got on mine having said that if you're working in your own craft space and you're not actually videoing then you perhaps won't mind giving it time to dry either I don't know if the envelope's not straight or my cutting's not straight, but I didn't feel like that was working straight then. Okay, so if I... Fold that over and then...
Okay, so that's the outside of our, whoops. I may need to cut that a little bit. Seems to be on the fold line, guys. Just a fraction. I may even do the same on this side, I think. Just the tiniest, whoops, the tiniest piece I'm taking off. I have a clean workspace, relatively clean, except for my using, my, my items that I'm using, and I still manage to knock something off my desk. <laughs> okay, so... I really like the fact that it has that writing down that side. I think that's really fun. Okay. And I do want to just Okay, and then Sorry, I was looking at that and I was trying to decide whether or not I should cover the whole thing, including the flap with my next piece of paper or not. But I think that might be a bit tricky. If I'm going to do that area, I think I'll do it separately. So, so I have this paper here. And because I have some text on here, I'm trying to be careful about the direction that the paper is going. I don't mind that that is sideways either. And in actual fact, if I have my, if I have that on the flap, it essentially is the same direction as the writing on the other side so that's kind of fun and it does bring in those pinker flowers so I think I'm going to turn it around that way which means actually if I can get my placement So I'm thinking about there, which is roughly just under that row. That didn't work too bad considering I was using my opposite hand to what I usually use. I was like, I don't know if this is a good idea. I should work out placement for this too. Where would I like it? about center sorry of the text not of the paper so obviously how you attach yours depends on the paper that you're using hmm I kind of want to be tearing in the opposite direction Sometimes I'm like, no wonder I love collage because you don't have to think so much. Am I an overthinker? Hmm, sometimes. Sometimes I am. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. 
Okay. And about there. And so I think I'm going to attach it now. And then I will cut off the rest after. Okay, so I'm going to ink, uh, sorry, I'm going to glue my envelope this time and see how that works. Um, just wondering if, I'm just sorry, I should let you know, I'm just getting a little bit of what we call baking paper, which I think overseas is called parchment paper. I just want something that I can pop inside my pocket almost not quite something I can pop inside my pocket while I'm gluing just to protect it a little bit from sticking where it shouldn't not perfect but hopefully it will help and that's where I love this blue stick because I can actually see that I have glue everywhere I need glue so I'm making sure that I am Oops, and I think I will move on to my next piece. I'm trying to make sure that I have glue over the whole paper because essentially this could end up with quite a lot of use, having things taken in and out of it. So I want to try and get really good coverage so that my paper doesn't start to lift. And you can see I'm being a bit crazy with the glue stick and that's why the parchment or the baking paper comes in handy because <laughs> I don't have to be so careful. I'm trying to be a little bit careful but it does take away some of that worry. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then, now I could have inked this before I attached it, but I'm going to ink it after because I have to cut the top anyway. I'm going to lift that piece now. So it was a good thing that it was doubled over. Okay, I'm going to give that a really good burnish. And then I do have a little bit of glue that's come out. I can cut away my excess hmm and I actually could still attach that to no I can do that after so I'm going to fold that back on itself
Okay, and so I need to get... I think I'm going to use these scissors. <laughs> okay, scissors. And... It is lifting slightly in the corner when I'm pulling on it. So I just need to, or I feel I need to cut this so it can stop doing that. And I was having trouble seeing exactly where I had to cut to. So I'm just holding it towards my light this light so I can see better okay and then I'm going to fold that over and that's to give me an idea of where my ruler needs to go and then I'm going to tear that away And in actual fact, I will sit that back in there for a moment because I do want to just really burnish down. I just really want to burnish down the edges. apologize if you couldn't see then just felt like that needed to be straightened up slightly and so that is fun Just reminding it where I'd like it to fold. did get a little bit of extra creasing then because the glue is still wet but that's okay so I'm going to ink around it oh, I just love what the ink brings Decorating a cake or something, it just adds that final touch. See, even the difference between that, 
So with or without in the center, just, just speaks to me, guys. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. What I need to do across the top. Okay, and I really don't like that blue, so I feel like I need to cover it with something, and I'm thinking maybe Oops, when I remember where I've put them. A little of my tea stain paper is what I'm thinking. I think that kind of works with the tones of the green in that. I'm not sure the pink is the same, so I think I'm going to go, I mean, I could go with a blue. I think I like the green. Okay. So you can see from this that oops, that's my little piece of scrap. My gluey piece of scrap. I think it's only the tiniest fraction and oops I need to take off so this could be interesting guys if I slide my hand up and apply pressure very close to where I want it to tear I find it tears better I've probably gone a little bit too much off. Can I go that way? That's what I can do. I think I'll attach it in there because I really like that drip mark. So that means I know I need to ink the edges around where that mark is because it will be easier to do it now than once it's in there. And then... Probably take off a little piece. About there, I'm thinking. And let's just go for gold. You may not have to do this if you have a, an envelope that doesn't have that 
secretive window print or perhaps you like that print it doesn't work for me I'm not I'm not a fan unfortunately so I do want to cover it up I <laughs> did it again I've glued where I need to tear or remove but never mind because I'm really happy with the way that sits and I'm going to peel that up. And where did, where, where? I nearly started singing then. You are lucky I realised. Lucky I realised the camera was on. Oh my gosh, that is really pretty. And it's made me wonder about, oh, can I get into, <laughs> I think I've glued it closed. Okay, so I'm just going to take my little pokey tool here. Power of glue. There we go. I'm wondering if I need to add a little bit of something in there, perhaps. Another song. <laughs> There's our new game. You can try and guess what song is in my head when I say, There's another song. <laughs> I'll let you know if you're right or not. Okay, while that's drying off a little bit, well, <laughs> maybe I need to remove it now. I don't know. Like, do I want to add? Do I want to, guys? Do I? This isn't big enough. Okay, so I can make this one big enough. Here. See, even with a clean desk, I still misplace things. Well, relatively cleaner than what it's usually like. Okay. wrong side I'm thinking I may need to tab this once I pop my paper in because if I'm having trouble finding the pocket then others will too and it's not quite thin enough so, I'm 
going to do this. Just a fraction more, I'm thinking. I might do the other side just to... I'm thinking a cut edge might make it a little less resistant as it goes into the pocket. <laughs> I could have measured, I guess. You know, that may have been a sensible thing to do, but I didn't actually think about that. Never mind. Ah, that's good. So the trick is going to be getting it in there. Do it away. And that is actually all the way to the bottom of the pocket. Now you don't have to do that, but back again, everybody. Sorry about that. So I had a phone call and hubby came home and I stopped and had a break and I'm back again. So picking up where I left off, um, I think I was about to tell you all that this little piece of paper does actually go all the way to the bottom of this pocket. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's how I've set mine up. Um, I'm being very brave now. I am videoing while hubby is home, which is not like me. So <laughs> if I start to talk really quietly, I'm sorry in advance, but it's going to take some getting used to this videoing with people around. Um, I don't know why. I just feel really self-conscious doing it. So, oops, and I've just shifted that. So I'm just using that first piece of paper as a guide to cut my second one. If I can line it up straight. For the other side of the pocket. Okay. And... I will just check that that goes in okay. She's a little bit tight, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully it won't be too bad to get in there. Okay, and I may just ink across the top. Before I pop it in there and then I can give it another go if it needs it once it's in there. I just thought doing it now might be easier. Okay. And I'm just going to use my glue stick, hoping this will work okay. I don't even remember what I was talking about before the camera stopped. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> checked to see where I was up to and then forgot to check and see what I was talking about. If I was talking about anything. So I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Oops, it just closed on me. I am going to... Hopefully, run it down. So I'm pressing my paper against 
this side to slip it down into the pocket. I'm getting glue all over my hands, but that's okay. Um, so allowing it to slide down. And now I'm stuck to it. Ah! I don't think this is working. <laughs> I, think, I think I've made a bit of a mess. It didn't seem that difficult when I had the idea. My hands are really tacky now. I may just uh. I had a crease in my paper in the corner. So I'm just trying to work that out of the paper, which I think I just got. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult, was it? <laughs> and I really need to press that down. And now I know I have to do it all over again. Oh my gosh, my hands are tacky after that. Yuck oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again and see if I can mess it up twice. Oops. Okay, being brave. You ready? <laughs> Hold on to your hats, everyone. Well, I kind of feel like that went down a little bit. I have got some... Sometimes I wonder why I make things difficult for myself. So I haven't quite covered this spot here. So I'm just going to tone that in with some ink. Probably need to
Okay, so I don't think that's too bad. And I can tear the top. Oh, I tear really well. My fingers are sticking together. Even wiping your hands feels uncoordinated when they're all sticky like that. Okay, and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm just going to cut this. And I think I'm going to cut that edge. Fabulous. I just stab my baking paper with my scissors. So I need to ink on this side. I may have to sit that under something heavy once I'm finished just to, because I've got extra padding in the pocket, extra layers. And just turning it over gently, I'm going to ink along the crease. Okay, and I've been thinking about a closure, so I'm wondering I'm going to try that butterfly. <clears throat> so this is from Antique Papery. I don't remember. Let me have a look. So I believe it is the limited edition Victorian Birds, Butterflies and Animals set. And I think I have printed these... On my printer, there's an option to print like a proof sheet, I think it is. And I think I've printed them like that to get this size. So now what I want to do is I want to cut it. I'm just looking, I'm cutting. So left of that writing where am I better to go? No, I'll use the... Hmm. I think I'm going to go just left of the writing. So the Perrin, I believe that's what it says. Don't quote me because it could be French. <laughs> and I don't speak French. So I'm going to cut it a 
think in was it my last video I did mention that I wouldn't harm any any butterflies well I think I just did oops okay moving right along so I'm just inking those two halves Then I have to work out my placement. I think I need some extra hands. Whoops. So I'm just using my paper clips to hold this secure and I am going to work out center four and a quarter so two and one eighth so I see it's roughly in line with the bottom of that yellow spot um and I am just going to eyeball placement. So my thought is to attach this Okay, I'm going to use my well actually maybe the art glitter glue if I'm really careful. Keep your fingers crossed for me guys because I still don't have the nozzle. going to test that it's not blocked because I haven't touched it for a very long time um, okay so I'm thinking I want that at least If I, whoops, so I'm just holding that in place, and how far? to there Sorry if I'm not on camera. And I will need to ink this side as well. Okay, and then so these paper clips I'm going to sit exactly, whoops, where I want the top. In the center, so I do need to bring it across a little bit, I think. Oh, 
Oops. And then the bottom. So I haven't gone center. I've actually gone the outside of where I want it to sit, just as a guide. And I'm only going to do about half of this one. Never feel like that seals well. Okay, so I can take those paper clips off now. And so you see when it closes, I still pretty much can see everything. The writing here crosses over a little bit and obviously I lose the, the body of the butterfly, but I think that's pretty good. Because I'm overlapping, you're never going to get everything. Just making sure that I've got a little bit of clearance there. And I'm going to just tuck that in, hopefully. First time's always the most difficult, isn't it? Please work. Hmm, it's not quite enough. So, what else can I do? My um, card or photo paper rather isn't quite strong enough to give me the result I want. I possibly should have put some cardboard behind it first. Um, That's just going to lift. It's a pretty detail though. Very simple. Um, I'm wondering if... I may just attach some rope, some string. So maybe I'll pop a an eyelet. Now I don't have the most success with eyelets, or the best success with eyelets, but what do I have? I like that. Oh, are they dark? They are. I thought they were silver, but they go really beautifully with those black circles, so I might use that. Either or would be fine, I think. Oh, I 
like both. No, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so what I might do... because this usually doesn't go well for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, golly. So I need to work out where I want to put it. And I'm thinking between the writing and the edge about there oops I need to I need to move some things let's just do this X marks the spot So about there. So remembering this end is sealed. It's not a pocket or anything, so that makes this doable. And I'm sorry if you can't see. I'm wondering if that's the right size. I haven't used these in so long because I I fail. <laughs> so I feel like it does need to be the big one. And I could tell you all what I'm doing, but I'm really just praying right now that it actually works. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to have to hammer that down a little bit. I don't know why it doesn't give me a... Now it's stuck on there. <laughs> I can't get it off. I'm going to have to get a hammer and just hammer that down to make sure there's no sharp edges, but I'm just going to use my kitchen twine that I use for my binding because I love it and I don't know how much I want so I 
think hmm That could be fun. Don't know if this will work, guys, but normally you would wrap it around the front of the little door, little flap here, but because I've got the butterfly there, I don't want to do that. So... Oops, and I want to go under that. And I think I might tie that in a knot. So that that can sit under there. It doesn't want to at the moment, I think. I think it needs to be pressed a little bit. It needs to be set under a heavy book or something to just make it sit flatter. It does have a bit of bulk because I've lined that pocket at the front, um, which is making it pop forward. Um, the other thing is it doesn't have to be tucked underneath. The butterfly actually looks fine if I untuck it and it's just sitting there like that as well. But if it is tucked under, it does sit a little bit better. So Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I do need to I need to press it uh, as in sit it under a heavy book at least overnight, I'm thinking. And oh, goodness me. And I do need to, I think, just hammer this edge down. It's just a little bit catchy. But that's my little, my little wallet. It's quite fun. And I haven't decided whether I will pop it into the journal as a pocket or whether I'll pop it in as a journaling card. I'm thinking maybe a journaling card. Oh, fun! I wonder... Cute. 
yes, it's definitely, I mean, it could even just be paper clipped in there too, which is really fun. So, oh, that's kind of cute. And we have all the strings on both sides. That could even come around and go back the other way. Hmm, all the possibilities. So I think I like that as a journaling card as opposed to a pocket. If you didn't line the inside of the front pocket, you could probably attach it as a pocket. It wouldn't be quite so bulky. But I actually really love that you can pick it up and and move it around if I don't attach it. So and lots of possibilities for this string as well to be wrapped around. But yes, so we have a pocket here. We could pop a tag and I'm hoping you can see, not too bad, that we've lined pretty much all the way to the bottom. It was a little bit of an effort. Not quite covering the join in the sides, but that's okay. You really don't see that. It was more about opening up the pocket and seeing the inside and then we have a pocket here and it closes up okay I hope you've all enjoyed I will take it off my signature and pop that away I hope you've all enjoyed creating this little we'll call it a journaling what journaling wallet that's what we're calling it, a journaling wallet. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all soon, everybody. Happy crafting and bye for now.